Harry Freeman tailors every presentation to your group and your people. He is the nation's misleading expert, lying for laughs for 30 years. Corporate comedy put-ons, humorous host, and MC. He's going to discuss some of his ideas that helped me over the past couple of years. And interestingly, to help us complete the final stages of our transition. I want to thank you, Rick, very much for having me here tonight. And uh, Rick and I go back a long time. We're about the same age. He's 66. I'll be 66 in December. When I look at him, uh, I feel like he looks a lot younger than I do. <laughs> so apparently radiation has some kind of youth benefit. <laughs> I did a little research and I don't think I was first choice to be in this time slot because there are some people here from uh, other countries who, so there were thoughts of bringing in somebody who's bilingual which I am not but I guess they figured I was better than the next choice of having Archie Adams speak <laughs> who despite having a very subtle southern accent is basically considered barely lingual. <laughs> With that in mind, I have a few topics I need to cover. It turns out I'm not only consulting to your company, Bechtel, I am somehow being utilized by them tonight as a tax write-off. <laughs> so I'm hoping between the two factors I can save enough money so you can all go somewhere even nicer for next month's final quarterly all-hands meeting than the Inn and Spa here at Loretto, such as the Holiday Inn Express at Los Alamos, for example. <laughs> I'm sorry, why are you jumping in? <laughs> Rick, can we have him let go? <laughs> and just for the record, I live in New York, and I hate the winter, but I did something last winter that I'm proud of. I raised $5,000 for lymphoma. I did my very first polar bear slim last January. <laughs> I didn't actually do it in New York, I was in Barbados, <laughs> and it was a much easier thing. And I know some of you are being asked to leave after 30 or even 40 years, or in other words, just as you were about to finally get your security clearances approved. <laughs> Thank you, one person. <laughs> The big question for many of you is what you're going to do after the change, and we've looked at the numbers, and 13 of you are leaving for new assignments, 29 of you are staying on, 9 of you have offers pending, 4 of you are undecided, and the rest of you are going to drive out in the desert and start a meth lab like Brian Cranston and Brady. <laughs> so it's good to see you're all planning to be productive members of society. Unfortunately, some of you have indicated you plan to spend more time with your families. And believe me when I tell you, you don't want to do this. <laughs> I once took a break to spend my time with my family. I quickly found out they didn't want to spend that time with me. <laughs> Nevertheless, I want to compliment you all because I think you folks from Bechtel are terrific. Evidenced by the fact that the Wall Street Journal rated your company as one of the top five of its size and kind in the world. Wouldn't be that surprising, considering there are only about five companies <laughs> of your size and kind of the world. And let's be honest, while some of you are big fish in small ponds and some of you are small fish in big ponds, I really appreciate that you came tonight to the Loretta Lynn Spa to be part of a group of tiny little guppies in a large yuppie yoga massage bobcat chipmunk skunk raven hummingbird horned owl hairy woodpecker mosquito deer tick bear redneck wildfire flash flood and radioactive rattlesnake infested cesspool <laughs> I also know you're going to miss the incredible restaurants, <laughs> like Subway, <laughs> Domino's. You also have 
Time Out Pizza, which is working on a new ad. If the big one ever hits, for God's sake, don't make your last slice Domino's. <laughs> At Time Out, there's always time for one last pizza. <laughs> I also want to welcome the spouses here tonight. I know many of you resent the long hours your husbands, wives, or insignificant others have put in. I hope in some way this evening is going to make up for those nights when you've been left alone and been depressed and maybe felt like ending it all. Because when all is said and done, this dinner is all you're going to get. <laughs> I hope you remember tonight and realize you may only have to wait another year before you get another free meal when they bring you all back after the new people fail. <laughs> Well, you should be able to train the new transition team in atomic and molecular science, chemical engineering, and decontamination for spent fuel pools, swimming pools, water slide parks, <laughs> drip shields, and Kenny Rogers roasters, <laughs> and a whole bunch of other stuff that maybe three of you could possibly understand. If I had to read this garbage every day, I would just shoot myself in the head once and for all and be done with it. So good luck with the transition. And these, by the way, are the actual reasons Ray Patterson retired early. <laughs> Rick used me at Yankee Nuclear about 20 years ago, about Yucker 10 years ago, and uh, I can't wait till he gets his neck nuclear plant. <laughs> Thank you very much. Come on.